People from Teso and Karamoja sub-regions have been severely affected by the drought that hit their area in February this year. Most of the locals who rely on agriculture went for many days without food. Last month, NTV visited Katakwi district in Teso sub-region and found some families living in deplorable conditions. Parents and their children resorted to picking mangoes from trees to survive. The government responded to the crisis by sending emergency food relief, but it came in too little too late. A number of people were reported to have died of starvation. Now the Parliamentary Committee on Presidential Affairs summoned the Minister for Relief and Disaster Preparedness and his subordinates in a bid to get to the bottom of the problem. The committee learned that the department has no budget for the internally displaced people and those living in drought-affected areas. It is abnormal to see that really you have no budget for internally displaced Ugandans. It's unfortunate. Apparently we may not be having that 3% contingency money in place and that's how we have failed to meet the needs for the hunger stricken Teso area and uh, Karamoja and the other parts. It's quite absurd that uh, the old ministry can uh, even come out before the, the, the committee and tell that they don't have a budget. But it also emerged that the Disaster Preparedness Ministry returned an unspent sum of 700 million shillings to the consolidated fund last financial year as required by the government. That move prompted the Ministry of Finance to direct the ministry to work within its budget this year when it requested for supplementary funding to deal with the drought. The authorities told the legislators that Uganda currently hosts more than 600,000 refugees, many of whom hail from South Sudan. The committee members raised concerns about reports of bad behavior brought up against some refugees. How much is this Somali is in here? Are they immigrants? Are they nationals? Are they refugees? They move freely. We don't pamper refugees. We manage and protect refugees within the legal framework that is required to protect refugees. Habad Ziwa, NTV.